Okay, not bad. The first major revolt. That's actually a pretty big revolt too, so... 12,000 isn't a small revolt, so they won't be able to finish that off. Like, they won't be able to recover from that as easily. And, uh... <laughs> well, this city just became Beijing. And... The Empire of Asia is basically Japan in many ways. <laughs> so, it's kind of astounding. Okay, the Kaganate ain't doing too bad. Um, oh, wow. Never mind. They're doing great. Wait, what? Oh, a lot of states went down. Flintshire was conquered by the Picts. And the picks again, their butts kicked. And are going to lose. <laughs> Pretty badly. Okay, so they've retaken some territory. Winnebago's also gone a good chunk of it. Socialist Republic of Peru is trying to get a chunk of it. But really isn't going to get much of it. It's kind of being booted out of their major industrial region. Supported with 1,724 gold, Kingdom Chris established call for it. What? 2,250. Ah, oh, it's a good thing they still have calls to rely on. Picks were conquered by... Oh! Tecumseh Kingdom? Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they're just having to fight so much. Okay, the Frasian state is actually pretty powerful at this point. It's got 106,000, and oh my god, the Yugar Kaganit is the most powerful at this rate. They're going to destroy the humans, or at least devastate them. Because this Kaganit is in, like, they, they've got the best shield, and they're coming out from the mountains into the steppes, which is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest because uh well they're they're actually quite powerful so hmm interesting problem they haven't got many cities though which they're about to take a lot of I wonder how much land they'll be able to take before they have to stop formed an alliance okay well, the Tecumseh Kingdom is back. And, uh, so is, uh, what is this? Oh! I bet they're kind of happy. It's like, finally! We can have peace instead of being at war continuous. Ah, uh, yes, that, 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 I imagine that's kind of their goal in a way. It's like, ah, oh, come on. Yeah. Ah, it's got one. I have got one. E O T A M E. Ah, pretty nice, I gotta say. That's a pretty nice uh, state. They um, have 7,600 gold, not terrible.
Okay, the Socialist Republic still has land in Canada. They have, like, small footholds, which is amazing. Uh, I'm trying to... Oh! Now, what's the most impressive fact about this is the fact that, um, the Theo they, they didn't get too much. Neither side actually got a lot. And that's a good thing in a way. Like, the Quichar Kingdom is now fairly powerful, so they don't need a lot of territory. Like, territory in this, though, is a pretty big deal. But they're not super powerful. That's like their biggest weakness, is the fact that they're not powerful enough to withstand a combined attack from Luetra and Abago and the Socialist Republic of Peru simultaneously. That would actually probably be a problem. They'll probably still survive though. So... Ooh, time to see this conquest. Oh, someone decided to take advantage. <laughs> oh my god. They d they finally decided to do it. Marxist-Leninist Ukraine is taking advantage of the Cumans' weakness. Combat Efficiency 3. Combat Efficiency 3. And, uh, hmm, yes. I see. Very, very, very not, not gonna live. Ouch. Oh my god. Just continuing to collapse. Very slowly and painfully, aren't they? Alexandria. Oh, that's why. Alexandria was destroyed by Water Empire. Yeah, sure. That that was that was a great idea. That was a great idea. <laughs> They're losing territory faster than they can liberate it. Which is what makes that kind of just hilarious. Mm, I'm gonna go with um Agro. G-O-S. G-O-S. Agros. Okay. O T T O Ottoman Empire. Okay, so the Ottoman Empire is starting out as one of the more powerful states. And while the Rotara Empire is going to probably continue collapsing because of their never-ending want of conquest, um, well, I imagine that, you know, they'll probably do decently. The Ottomans will probably do decently. They've got a good chunk of Anatolia to start with, along with a good chunk of the Balkans, and they've got many targets to actually attack, including Moravia, the Republic of Ukraine, the Dutch Empire, if they really want to be risky, once they're powerful, probably, though. Actually, they can't attack these two, but they can push Anatolia, and then push Maybe, maybe, maybe attempt to push with Tbilisi, but they probably have to align with Marxist-Leninist Ukraine, because they're currently the most powerful. 
That's why I was conquered. Yep. I mean, look at that. They're very powerful. <laughs> this Kaganet just became the most powerful thing. Uh, let's go with... Uh, hmm. I'm looking for a stage. Okay. Mm, I'm trying to find any possible thing. Oh, I know what I can call this. And let's see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I have found it. Let's look. L. A T. I in Latin Empire, which can be renamed if I I'll rename it Eastern Rome if they can take out, if they can secure at least all the way up to Bryn, then they become the Roman Empire. If they can secure at least up to Anatolia, and Greece, then I'm calling it the Eastern Roman Empire. So, you know, they're, they're going to have to do a lot of fighting, but they're going to have to actually keep the land first. So, you know, they still have to win. Oh, wow. <laughs> this state is like, okay, time to do my job. Time to actually win. Not a bad idea. Ah, interesting. Wait a minute. Oh! The second Mexican Empire is destroying Tikit. The Socialist Republic is just barely surviving. The Lenepe aren't doing too bad. Fort McMurray isn't doing too terribly either. And they're finally in a position where they can just calm down and not worry about fighting. The Sutar Kingdom can finally just not fight. Because <laughs> they don't really have any strong opposition. Okay, what do we have here? Oh! We have a powerful Libyan state. Uh, we have, uh, it's called Ewaja. I'd say that that's my closest attempt. But uh, they're not doing terribly. The Wetar Empire is slowly becoming more stable. Very slow. I got... Wait. Wait, no. They did not just... They're actually going to go on a whole conquest. They're, they're like a true Kaganet. I'm proud. The Yuga Kaganet is acting like a Kaganet. They're acting like nomads. They don't care about administrative work. They just care about ravaging land for resources and for the pleasures that sedimentary peoples have. Which is just, yes, continue on this mission of being as realistic as possible to what nomads do. It's like, what? Oh. I have possible enemies? 
Yes, I, I, I'm willing to fight you, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of just... I love how it's ultra-realistic to the sense of a nomadic group just coming out of the steps and thrusting into your territory, just marching right in. However, other than that happening, the Empire of Canada died to Quebec. And that's because of Halifax. Mm, amazing. I'm not in a great position. Mm. Oh, but uh, <laughs> someone is uh, kind of taking it. And taking it badly. Oh. Yeah, this, this is going to be an unfortunate thing. I have a feeling that um, these East Asian states are going to find. They're not actually too powerful. And, oh. This Chinese state is becoming the most powerful. They're at 10,000. They're now competitive enough with the MR Kingdom. They're not competitive with states like Kenqing or the Empire of Asia yet. Nor are they competitive with the Gaio Confederacy, but they're competitive with the MR Kingdom. And Wangano is uh, doing pretty good at exhausting Kenqing. So, uh, <laughs> I don't see them surviving for too much longer. But, uh, okay, time to do, time to see if, actually, hold on now, I'm gonna name this a city. X-I-A-N. And this state, because it's the largest, and because it's the only Chinese state, currently, gets to have, um... Let's go with... Okay, I'm gonna check ideology. But, uh, R-E-P-U-E-L-I-C, -E -E Republic of C-H-I-N-A. Republic of China. Then, then it'll be Nationalist China. Then it will be the People's Republic of China. Hmm. Well, look at that. Nothing's changed for... Uh, Marxist-Leninist Ukraine. They're at two, though. So they're no longer... How more powerful than they're no longer the most powerful in terms of combat efficiency. In fact, that'd be Tbilisi. But Tbilisi also has more enemies. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, let's see how this goes. I really would like, like, I'm I'm looking over the map basically. Wait, oh, Latin Empire was conquered by Ottoman Empire. They're already beginning. They've made it across the Bosporus. People's Republic of Munia joined Kucha Kingdom's alliance. People's Republic of Peru joined Socialist Republic of Peru's alliance. Okay, they've got way more allies in South America. Six, okay. So they're not quite at their maximum. But they basically can have an entire continent of allies, which is what I intended. 
I want it to be a bit more challenging than just... Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. These two are actually at combat efficiency one. <laughs> oh no. I'm hoping New Zealand can do something. I want my country to actually win this, so, yeah. We'll just hit, so, hmm. Ooh. Okay, yeah, they've been stopped. The Ugar Kaganet has been stopped, but they possess a lot of land. So I don't think it matters in that regard, but they won't be conquering East Asia easily. Angranat, on the other hand, might be accidentally conquering East Asia. Maybe. Not if they collapse doing it. Which is very likely with the amount of land that they could take. Oh, Ecuadorian Republic was destroyed by Winnebago. Mm. Well, they're securing a lot of territory. They've lost a bit of America. I love how this just keeps happening to the Suta Kingdom. They get bigger and then they have to fight a lot. Which is great. But I just feel slightly sad that they're never going to actually achieve anything great. Or, or anything that'll be truly remembered as unbelievable. But they are one of the most powerful states already, so yeah. You kind of have to hope that they don't become too powerful, but powerful enough to be, you know, dangerous of or remain a player. I'm gonna call it New Amsterdam. Because uh, I'm gonna do the oldest name for New York City. Just for fun. And, uh, this can be called, uh, how would, uh, Harrisburg probably sound for this, I think. H-A-R-R Harrisburg. Ah, truly the most powerful state. Harrisburg. Sixty-three percent revolt chance. Austrian Empire support Frasian state with uh, oh, <laughs> that isn't a small problem. That's a big one. Uh, Frasian state is isolated though. Said joint order of wind. Ooh. Okay, a small alliance of minor powers. Amsterdam joined Koro's alliance. Hmm. Where is the state that led the alliance? Oh, they must have died. Could make basically Oklahoma slash Indian Territory. The de facto leader, along with New Amsterdam at this point. Hmm. Okay, the Ugar Kaganet is facing a challenge from the Mnaketes of Shinjagara. And they're going to collapse internally because of it. 
I love how the Yuga Khaganate has just become like the Mongolian Empire. They're, they're like the Mongol Empire. Powerful. But you can't hold territory forever. Okay, and uh, well, Brickenridge. And uh, well, wait, hold on. Oh, this state conquered both of them. Oh my god. That alliance is actually dead in that case. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Still quite powerful. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. The Yuga Kaganet is basically like the Mongolian Empire in that it's so large that it's not very effective because they have so much territory that it's hard to govern all that land. So, they have a weakness. Very unfortunate one. At least for them. <laughs> but, uh, someone's very, very safe. And Wangano has, uh, reasserted its dominance. By taking parts, by taking parts of Lezon and China. And retaking parts of Australia. So, uh, if they really want to do it, they're going to have to fight this New Zealand. State, I suppose. At some point. How are they still at combat efficiency 6? Like, seriously. The Abbasids, though, uh, they're, um, going to die. Oh. Another one. My god. <laughs> oh, the sadness. You can feel the sadness. It's like, they aren't even conquering. It's just that it's so hard to govern and fight at the same time. That it's just impractical to hold all this land. Uh, let's go with, um, okay. North Battle Board. F O R D North Battle Ford. Okay, so this state just became a powerful regional player. It can probably attempt to conquer Albuquerque. Maybe San Antonio, if they betrayed them. They could probably conquer Shreveport. Any of the miners, but they're not ready to fight states that are above them in terms of strength. So, Tiket would be, like, their limit. The 10,000 to 20,000 range is probably their limit for who they can fight. So they can't fight states like the Sutar Kingdom without really getting their asses kicked. And win a bug is off the table because, well, uh... 387, although they're at combat efficiency 1 at the moment, does not matter. They still have 387 gold. Or rather, they have 387,000 gold. Which is a lot of gold in this game, so I'm gonna call it small. Oh, a first for a nomadic revolt, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Agrarian state of Papua New Guinea supported 
Akatis of Trinjigal with 1,887. Okay, they're powerful. But, uh, can they defend their allies? We're seeing the first cracks in the Ugar Kaganit's armor. The fact that, well, the humans may have died. They were very much better at governing. <laughs> they were much better at governing, in fact. So, what do I call... Hmm... You know what? Just because I think I'm gonna do like I, I don't really know enough about this specific area to really see. But I've already done a lot of the nomadic groups, so that's what Okay. That's that. Uh... Okay, hey. Kazakh Empire. It's a much more centralized state, basically. Like, these guys... Yeah, they're at 49% revolt chance, so they're still pretty high up. 3% isn't actually terrible. But Marxist Leninist Ukraine has the best amount. 0%. There are no problems whatsoever. Their, their state is super centralized. And they're nearly at a million. <laughs> what the, what, wait, why, why is it it's difficult? Okay, there we go. But, um, yeah, Marxist Leninist Ukraine is nearly at a million. <laughs> uh, but they've got about the same amount of power as, let's say, the Watra Empire once had, or they've got the same amount of power that these states have, where they're powerful enough that they can probably beat anyone on the planet, and it's more about surviving. It's about being able to govern, basically. Which, um, yeah, the, the Ugar Kaganet isn't doing a very good job of doing. <laughs> great conquerors, not great governors. Oh, someone decided to pick a fight. Oh, Ottoman Empire joined Order of Tbilisi. Joined Order of, oh. Joined Dio Confederacy Union. Oh. Okay, so that leaves one frontier done. They no longer have to worry about other frontiers down in the south of Australia. But, um... Someone just got Combat Efficiency 6. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, how... Do they hold a border with each other? Uh -huh. They they really should not fight this. Look at their co their revolt chances, super high. They're going to collapse in Africa. Like, they've already lost so many places that they're basically going to have to actually win this war or risk collapse. 58, or rather 55, when it comes to Winnebago. 58 when it comes to the Sutar Kingdom. And, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, the state of Dumaro owns England and Wales. The... Great Britain is born, basically. All hail Great Britain. For they rule the seas. However, they are not a major power. Currently, they aren't. Let's 
see if they can keep themselves alive. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do this now. B-R-I-T-I-N I Well, I mean, they've unified England and Wales, so I consider them to be Great Britain. So let's see what they... Oh. Oh, oh no, this is a very powerful state. You can feel the push. Okay, so Empire of Asia and Republic of China formed an alliance. Oh. Oh. These two have abandoned... The Empire of Asia abandoned its former alliance. Which is quite surprising. But, uh, these two are <laughs> picking a fight. Nusuko was destroyed by Shriveport. Shriveport was destroyed, was conquered by Kiwo. Oh my god, it's happening. The smaller states are learning that they can't beat Kiwo. Because Kiwo just, like, they, they have Oklahoma, they have Louisiana... And they're about to take what is basically Mississippi. So, nice. They, they, they have a good chunk of the southwest. And the south. They don't hold this part of the south. Like, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee. They don't hold that, but they hold a good amount of ground. Enough to really pick fights. Which is interesting. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Napsing is about to get kicked out of Greenland. State was destroyed. Oh. Uh, Xing was destroyed by the Republic of China. Chichagram was destroyed by the Kurite Kingdom. State of Omaha was conquered by Kiwi. Okay, they own a lot of ground. This state seems like it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Ticket uh, versus... Oh, okay. Goodbye, sex... Uh, what? Uh, oops. Goodbye, Second Mexican Empire. So, the Second Mexican Empire has, like, just taken territory. <laughs> So, uh, this will be interesting. Uh, hmm. So, let's see. Well, these look... They're kind of... Not as powerful anymore. But with the loss of... What is basically... 
this chunk of East Asia, they do they don't have any power in the region. Overall. Well, these lot have a lot of power, they just have also got a high revolt chance. <clears throat> yeah, at this point, who knows? Oh, <laughs> the Watara Empire is learning, and learning badly. You don't just not fight. I love it. It's like they think, ah, oh, yes, I, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but the Watara Empire, oh no, it is um slowly collapsing. Very slowly collapsing. At a rate which is basically unsustainable. They need to stop going to war now. They're at 51. With the amount of ground that they've lost, they're basically never not going to be at war. They've lost, let's see, so they've lost... Great chunks of the Balkans, they've lost a good chunk of Anatolia. They're, they're starting to lose parts in Africa. They still hold eh, parts of Italy, parts of Greece. And the Ottoman Empire is like just off the coattails of them. Trying to win. <laughs> oh my god. Well, let's see how... <clears throat> B-I-R A-N-A Okay, I'm going to give... This state will probably be the best contender for dominant power in Anatolia, so... E-A-S-T-E-R-A Eastern R-O-M-A-N E-M-P-I-R-E Eastern Roman Empire I-S-T-I-A-I-A -A. Look at that. They're, they're, they're like... The really big power, basically, in the region, so... Hmm, let's try... Okay, so now I need to... 
you go Okay, so let's just go with a country that's more recent when it comes to history. Why you G O S L A B I A Yugoslavia. Quite a powerful state. They're also they also basically have control over the Balkans. Now, one thing I am going to have to do, because I kind of didn't anticipate that revolts would occur that often in many ways. I, I thought they would occur, but not to the degree in which it'd be a regional bit. I T A Italian. In states. Yes, before unification. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one, since I think this will be fun to have. D U C H Duchy of S A V O Y Duchy of Savoy. So. Oh, this one's a challenge. So I'm kind of running out of uh, places in Africa. A, B, E. A, B, E. C, H, E. A B C H E. Hmm. Let's go with um. Okay. How would A B Adam? That's actually a place name. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't know why, but, um... It is a place name, so... We're gonna be dealing with that. Well, it's now the Ottomans versus the Eastern Roman Empire. Baton Rouge was conquered. Okay, they, they've conquered the entire region. All they need to do is consolidate, and then they'll basically be the most powerful in that small region. Because the biggest problem they have is that they're next to two major powers. One, 
oh wow, they're both at one, except one of them is at revolt chance 12, so they have a larger chance of having a major revolt. Like the chances for the ticket to have a revolt are much higher, so... Three? Oh, six. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I see. Hmm. Ramada was conquered by the Abbasid Caliphate. Ooh. Okay, the Abbasids conquered and then they've lost a huge chunk of their army doing so. Well. Amazing. Okay, the Kazakh Empire is short-lived. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> oh, but the... Oh! The humans are going to be taken advantage of. Because they've lost a lot of their power that they once had. Okay, so... Ashkabat. Okay. G-A-B-A-T. Ashkabat. U Z B E K I S T Bek Uzbek hmm. Ah that yeah S O V I E T Soviet and uh, ideologies list. Social. Mm. O C S O C I A M I A Socialist Re P U B L I Socialist Uzbek Social Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic. Well, I am trying to find historical names and, uh, well. I think I have found at least. Oh. One. Hmm. To go with, I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so, for this state, let's go with. Really, at this point, I'm kind of just like in the twentieth. So, 
R U S S I A Russian Soviet Okay, yep. I was right. S O V I E T. Okay, so. What? Why is it not. Why is it. S O V I E T. Okay, so. Hmm. Edger. Retiv. Soviet Federative S O C I A L I S Socialist R E P U B L I C Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. Or basically what can be considered the most important republic. Because, <laughs> well, it's the main one. Now, this is the one that will be renamed if it conquers... In fact, actually, now that I think about it... I've got the Republic of Ukraine, and then I've got Marxist-Leninist Ukraine. Hmm. I technically already have the Soviet Union in a way. Just not, not in a, like, because, well, if I, now that I'm thinking about it, Marxist-Leninist Ukraine owns a lot of Russian territory and Finnish and Baltic, Polish, Ukrainian, Azerbaijani, Georgian, Kazakh. They own a good chunk. So really... This will be an interesting thing. Founded 1917. Okay, so that's an interesting fact about this state. It was founded in 1917, so it's the technical first state. Hmm. Okay, well, before I decide to do that, let's get this state. Mm. K Y Z L O R D A Now I think this state in all honesty, I'd say that the Republic of Ukraine holds more of Ukraine and probably has more Ukrainians in it. Therefore, now I'm going to call this, let's say, S-O-V-I-E-T. Soviet U N I O N Soviet Union Actually Soviet S Socialist Republic That's all Okay, so Union of Soviet Social List Free P U B L I Republics 
Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. There are plenty of those here. Georgia, Dutch Empire, yes. They're basically <laughs> under the rulership of the state. Founded by, um, well, in this world, it was founded by, at least, according to, well, in this world, obviously it would have been founded by, like, Nikita Khrushchev or something. I imagine that it was founded by, like, Nikita Khrushchev or something like that, so, hmm, an interesting thought. Ooh. Oh. I see. Well, ain't that just a bit sad? For at least... The oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Rangana Empire established a call for 3,750 gold. Who mm. established a call? For 750. Okay, they're slowly starting to establish themselves. Mm hmm, interesting. Well, I must say this has been pretty interesting so far. And I am looking forward to seeing how this goes. So, um, see you in the next video. Bye.